Hi, Statesman Nation. Uh, here with Coach Laird uh, talking about the 2015 season. Um, Coach, week away. Um, how's everything going? It's going pretty good. The guys are, have been working real hard and uh, really looking forward to, to playing. Uh, it's going to be a really good tournament down there yeah. in Joplin and Pittsburgh, Kansas. Uh, so we'll have to be ready. We're playing sure. five games in three days. It's going to be a lot of fun. There you go. Um, let's recap 2014 quick and then get into the, this spring and player by player. Um, let's talk about last year. Um, guys were middle of the pack. There was uh, some surprise with AIB, but Turbo was up there. Yeah. Um, let's talk about us, though. You know, just uh, a little bit about how our season went. Well, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, actually. Right. And uh, our pitching was really good most almost the whole year. Uh, we actually led the nation in ERA for probably the first three quarters of right. the season. Mm -hmm. Defense was real good. I think we were 972, 973, which is about third or fourth in the country. Mm -hmm. The thing that really kind of bit us in several close games in particular was the fact that we didn't, uh, you know, our uh, situational hitting right. with runners on base and stuff sometimes just wasn't quite, wasn't what we needed. Yeah. Uh, we got runners in scoring position a lot, but uh, getting them home was another story sometimes. Sure. And as a result, it was a little frustrating a couple games. Right. A lot of close games, just couldn't finish them all. So yeah, some of them, uh, yes. Right. Um, turning the page here to, to this spring, um, I guess we can talk about the off season. Looks like a lot of new faces um, coming in this year. I feel like the, yeah. the recruiting path was uh, hit pretty well. Yeah, yeah, it was. I uh, spent a lot of time, uh, actually it was on both coasts, which sure. was a first. Yeah. But I uh, got some good players out of that. And we do return a lot of senior, mm -hmm. or a lot of, last year's juniors that, that played a lot. So right. we do have a pretty good nucleus uh, with that group, but that group also needs, you know, needs to know how to execute sure, definitely. in some uh, close game situations. But it, it's a pretty darn good, it's a pretty darn good group. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of optimistic about right. it. Uh, like I said, going into Joplin with those teams down there that are ranked and so forth, mm -hmm. right out of being inside, it's going to be a little testy, but, sure. but uh, it should be, like I said, it should be fun. Right, definitely. Um, position by position, I guess, is that the next route. Um, all starts with pitcher. Uh, they touch the yeah. ball every time. And yeah. um, with that, probably Josh Ruiz. Uh, yeah, you're Josh. The first team. Josh is back. Last year, all-conference uh, pitcher, undefeated. ERA was in the ones. Right. Average to strike out per inning. Uh, really, really sound mechanically. Uh, repeatable delivery. One of those guys, you don't need to spend a lot of time with him mechanically. Mm -hmm. he's, he's very, you know, very solid. Sure. Um, and he kind of heads it off from the returning standpoint right. of pitchers on the staff, but there are several others that are seniors this mm -hmm. year that also look to, uh, you know, play a big role on the right. staff. Um, Maldonado, Kyle Maldonado's back. Uh, he had a low ERA, um, and uh, if he can get through the first inning or two, right. he's capable of winning a lot of ball games. Sure. That's kind of been his little little bit of his Achilles heel is. Mm -hmm. Too many pitches, you know, an inning right. or two early, and uh, when he settles down, he's pretty darn tough. I mean, he'll touch ninety. He's got a yeah. nice fastball. Um, you know, Jake Logan, lefty. He's really the only lefty back. Mm -hmm. Jake's uh, Jake's capable of having a real big year. Yeah. Um, good fastball, solid mid eighties fastball. With a good slider, good changeup. Um, I look for you know big things for mm -hmm. from him. Matt Vasquez, also Matt. Uh, Matt could be a real solid starter for us this year. I think Matt was around five and two or something mm -hmm. like that last year. Uh, he looks a little bit like he's got a little more velo this year. Sure. Uh, you know, a couple of times we've watched him in the pen and throwing live just recently the last week. Matt looks really good too. So, uh, you know, those four or five guys returning right there are right. a pretty good nucleus to build yeah, the definitely. you know the staff around. Sure. From uh, the standpoint of returning guys. Right. Um, any newcomers you want to highlight? I mean, obviously we yeah. haven't seen them here yet, but um, yeah, guys um, that you're excited about. Well, a couple guys that were actually here last year, but they uh, were not eligible yet. Right. Uh, one is uh, Cole Williams. Mm -hmm. Cole Williams. Uh, he brings quite a bit to the table. He's pitched in a lot of big games. Not here, but he's he's had a lot of experience. Sure. Uh, he's a different look. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's going to be a late inning guy to come in, hopefully, and close some games for us. Sure. Uh, he's pretty versatile. I mean, he could he could start if he had to, but he mm -hmm. he throws kind of down under. Sure. Okay. And he's uh, very consistent down there. A lot of movement. Like I said, uh, does a good job holding runners. He's he's just real solid. Mm -hmm. Logan Overly uh, might 
uh, might pitch some innings for us too uh, in, a, in a relief role. Uh, but he was also, again, he was here last year. Sure. Um, a couple new guys that just came in uh, in the fall, uh, Josh O'Neill. Josh O'Neill yep. is a really hard throwing right hander. He's been, uh, he threw 90 and two thirds innings last year at wow. Cumberland County Community College that's in New Jersey. Yep. And uh, his team finished national runner up. Uh, and uh, he, he was outstanding. Yeah. I think he, had a, he had a one something ER, he was 90 innings sure. pitch. Uh, he's, a, he's a big velo guy, but he also, he throws three pitches for strikes, so he's, yeah. he's tough. Right. Uh, he may have, he may be a draft type guy. Cool. Um, Tyler Martinez from the same school that Josh Ruiz is from. Tyler uh, is looking really, really good and is going to throw probably quite a few innings for sure. us. Uh, good fastball, good splitty. Uh, and he's, he's just real solid too. And we have, you know, uh, Juvenal Terreros, I forgot, I forgot to mention him. He pitched for us last year, right. Right. mostly in relief, and he's a senior this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hoobie, you know, good worker. Uh, he's going to pick up a lot of, you know, a lot of crucial innings sure. for us. He could start a little bit too if, if needed, but sure. he's primarily a reliever. Sure, definitely. Um, cover all the pitchers. There's a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot more. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm probably missing a couple. No, we're, guys, this, this is our chance just, to highlight the, the yeah, main guys. Yeah, those sure. are those are the main juniors and seniors that, that, that come to mind right now. Right. Uh, there are some others. Definitely. But, but right now, that's where we're at. Sure. Um, other side of the battery, um, catching, uh, talk about those guys that are... Well, we're kind of fortunate. We've got three seniors, mm -hmm. uh, and they're all, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty decent. Pat Roxbury kind of heads the list. Sure. Uh, he's our, he'll be our starter, more than likely. Pat uh, did a nice job for us last year until he broke his left wrist. He broke, a, uh, I think it's a hamate bone, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in the wrist. On a swing, it was nothing right. to do with blocking uh, or sure. getting hit or anything like that, blocking a pitch or anything, or blocking a, a, a ball. Right. Uh, so he was out about the last, well, I think he only played 26 games, actually. Right. So he missed almost half the season. Mm -hmm. um, Matt Emerson came in. Uh, Matt's uh, outfielder catcher. Matt did a, a pretty good job the rest of the year for us. And uh, Ryan... Uh, also has done a, a real good job for us. And, Ryan Marshall. Uh, yeah, Ryan Marshall. Those two guys are, are, are can catch or play play outfield. Sure. So uh, all three of those guys. I mean, we're gonna miss. We're gonna lose three senior catchers yeah. basically. So I would say those guys are. They're all gonna catch some. Sure, definitely. Um, wanna go first base all the way across, or do quarter infielders? I don't care. Oh, I, I just hope, you want to I, just hope I remember. Everybody. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, um, so um, we'll, we'll go first base and okay. we'll go around the around the Okay. Market. Well, uh, we have a couple guys back that split time there last year. Uh, Kenny Hall mm -hmm. and Nick Perez. They both uh, almost probably split it almost down the middle sure. as far as playing time. Um, we didn't quite get to be honest about it. We didn't get the uh, kind of the, the run production, the power. You know, not that you're going to have a lot of power with these BB core bats anymore, but right. we just didn't uh, get kind of. You know, the offensive production, I guess I should say, uh, out of that position. I, and I think this year, I'm hoping this year that we do. Sure. Uh, Kenny's got the inside lead right now. He had a great fall. He hit probably 450 or something oh, like that in the great. fall. Shows, showed some power, showed a lot of, you know, ability to drive the ball and knock runs in. So he's definitely, you know, probably got the inside track there. However, there are a couple other guys that came in mm -hmm. that are that are equally, that are, you know, corner guys, either third base first base, but they're going to see some time. Sure. And um, one of them, those guys is uh, Robert Fiacchio. Mm -hmm. uh, he's out of San Diego Mesa College. Uh, Robert's a very good hitter. You know, understands how to hit. He understands. That, that sounds kind of funny. College baseball right. player, you find the you know, But he's he, he's got a plan when yeah. he comes in there, and that's going to help us. I expect him to knock some runs in for us. Sure. Um, and uh, then we have... Um, uh, Daniel Dominguez. Daniel Dominguez is from East LA Community College. He's our only lefty we have, I think, on the entire team. <laughs> uh, but he has got uh, exceptional hands uh, mm -hmm. for a big guy. He could play third or first. Sure. And uh, he also is, he's, he's shown the potential for power from mm -hmm. the left side. And the, those four guys are primarily would, uh, you know, would be in the mix for uh, another one. One other guy too, Jake Randall. Uh, Jake's from Sock Valley over in Illinois. 
uh, big guy, 6'6", six, six, uh, pretty athletic. Uh, right now he's trying to work, work working some things out with his swing a little bit, sure. but uh, we have a good group of guys. You yeah, know, it's very competitive. A lot of depth. Very sure. competitive. Um, second base, I, I assume it's still Show Serrano. Is, oh, boy. Yeah, we, there's there. a lot of guys there. A lot of guys uh, shows, there, but he's probably uh, being there. Yeah, Show's a gold glove guy. Right. And uh, Show has done some really good things this year to help himself and help the team. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in great shape. Uh, arm strength is, he has plus arm strength. He could mm -hmm. easily play shortstop. He has that kind of arm strength sure. easily. Uh, he runs. Uh, hitting wise, he's looking much more consistent. He's driving the ball. Uh, he's figured some figured some things out. And uh, I look for him to have a really big year, not mm -hmm. just defensively like he did last year, but I think he's going to be a really, really key guy in the lineup. More than likely at leadoff this mm -hmm. year. But yeah, and then there, we have several. Other guys, uh, new guys. Uh, also, uh, we have Chris Bartman. Chris is from right. Fairfield. He's been around here for a while, and he keeps getting a little bit better every year, and mm -hmm. he works hard. He can run. Chris is going to be right there, you know, uh, pushing show. And uh, so he's uh, he, he's really done a nice job, and he, he's hung in there. And, you know, it's maybe time to get him out there a little bit. Sure. Um, so also another, we had a freshman named Charlie Cole. Charlie's a really got a really good arm. Uh, he's pretty athletic. Charlie also can catch a little bit, uh, so he can play middle infield and, and do some catching. Mm -hmm. Tevin Nishiyama. Mm -hmm. Tevin was here last year, wasn't eligible. Uh, just a solid, solid guy that he plays real good defense. His bat is a little, you know, uh, not up to where it needs to be, right. but he, he makes plays. He can execute. He can move runners around. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but Tevin's... Uh, Devin's another guy that could be playing in there. Right, definitely. Uh, other side of um, second base, uh, shortstop. Uh, you're trying to replace Enri Enrique Alvarado. Yeah, be yeah. Tough, obviously. <laughs> that's easy for you to say. <laughs> uh, that that's you know again easier said than done. Right. Uh, Enrique was a great player for us for two years, and really, you know, we're going to miss him not only what he did on the field, uh, but from a leadership standpoint, you know how he. Well, on the field, he's like another coach for right. me, and uh, really, really did a nice job, you know, communicating with the rest of the players and situations and stuff. And so we're, yeah, we're gonna miss him. But uh, a moving, more than likely moving, uh, Willie Vasquez, okay. the shortstop, and Willie, uh, big kid, you know, yeah. probably weighs two hundred pounds. Uh, but he's got tremendous hands and very, very good arm strength. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so Willie's looked outstanding, actually. We, we played him there all fall, too, anticipating where, you know, we didn't uh, actually had a couple shortstops on campus. Well, we had one shortstop on campus and had to go back home early in the fall. Uh, but uh, Willie's done a tremendous job over there. And I think, I think that's, uh, you know, we're going to miss Enrique, but, but yeah. Willie's pretty darn good. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, we've got... Um, another player named Joseph Terrazon. Mm -hmm. He's also out of Florida. Uh, Terrazon, uh, real quick guy, a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the kid. He's not a kid, but I mean, I really, <laughs> I really like the way he. You know, he's a very positive guy out there, and he really gets after it. Mm -hmm. He's going to be pushing for some playing time somewhere on the infield, either second, short, or third. Sure. And uh, he's pretty versatile. He's. Uh, but a lot of energy, high energy guy, and uh, did I mention energy? Yeah. Anyway, uh, he's uh, he and, and he's physically he's talented too. Mm -hmm. He can run, and he's got a good arm. Definitely. So, um, obviously that opens up third base then, and you kind yep. of mentioned some of the guys that might, if they're yeah. not playing first, they might go I, over at third. Exactly. I, I would say Fiacchio has the inside track on that right now. Right. Who, like you said, could play first. Uh, just really for a big guy. I mean, he probably weighs two two twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, just really, really nice hands, soft hands, and moves well and sure. throws very consistent. I mean, he's he's a he's a big guy that's uh, you know that's very mobile and yep. does, a, does a real nice job. Connor Sutton is somebody else that's right, you know, right there. Connor was not eligible last year. He's out of Gavlin College from the same place Kenny Hall's from, mm -hmm. and uh, Connor. Um, you know, it's taken him a little while to kind of catch back up because he was sure. out of baseball for, or pretty much out for a year. Right. However, um, he's uh, he's been in, in uh, historically he's been an outstanding hitter. Mm -hmm. 
As a matter of fact, I think at his junior college, he led the led the entire conference uh -huh. in batting average. I think he hit 410. Uh -huh. So uh, he's somebody that uh, you know, if he's not over there defensively, we got to find a way to get him some ABs yeah. for yeah. sure. Because he's a DH position. Yeah, too. possibly. So um, those are the guys that come to mind. You right. know, right now uh, for the infield, I'll probably think of you know three or four more guys after the interview. Sure, but sure. Um, Outfield then, uh, left field, um, straight up. Left yeah. field, well, I don't know if he knows it yet, but uh, there, <coughs> chances are um, going to end up with uh, possibly Corey to rush over there. Yeah. And Corey has been working out primarily at center field and uh, did all fall, uh, etc. He played some right mm -hmm. field for us last year with mm -hmm. Matt Emerson right. before Matt. He took over for Matt after Matt went behind the dish when mm -hmm. Roxbury got hurt. Right. And uh, but I'm thinking, you know, he may end up there, mm -hmm. maybe two hole hitter right sure. behind in behind uh, uh, show. Yeah. So, um, but but he's quick. He's very very quick. He should steal some bags again yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a little pop. You know, he's not a he's not a big guy, but but when he runs into one, you know, it it carries. So, yeah. uh, but you know. So I'd say he's got the inside track down there. We've got, sure. you know, several other guys that are they're down down a little bit, but uh, I'd say uh, right field looks like Emerson more than likely mm -hmm. will be out there. Um, you know, he played real well last year until we had to move him right. move, move him in to catch. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets he's not as quick as uh, Corey is. He's not as fast as Corey, but he's quick. And yeah. he gets a really good jump. He sure. gets good reads, takes real good routes, and he's got a, got a really nice strong arm from mm -hmm. right field. Um, center field will likely be uh, manned by a guy that just came in at the break uh, mm -hmm. named J.P. Rios. Okay. And Rios is from San Diego City College. Uh, was going to come in in the fall, uh, had shoulder surgery early in September, and didn't come in. Sure. And... Uh, which is a little disappointing. I mean, we planned on him coming. Right. And it looked like he was going to be here. So, uh, as luck would have it, you know, he uh, his arm, his shoulders come around really well, good. and yes. so that's 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 really good for us. Yeah. But he could end up being our three hitter, sure. three hole hitter. He's a good player, very good player, uh, very heady, takes great routes, good arm, communicates really well out there in right. center field. So, uh, it could be him. Definitely. Yeah. Great. Um, anybody else that we're not thinking of as far as outfield? Well, unless or I any just other position. Look, look down my <laughs> list here, I'd probably, uh, some other guys would probably pop up. But um, actually, you know, that's that's the majority of the right. guys right there, I think. Like that, you said, a good good mix of old oh, yeah. and, and new, obviously. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm going to real quick just take a gander here just in case. Uh, Steven Satz, another player, uh, big kid out of Canada. Uh, the only thing I don't like about him is he, he's a 4.0 student. <laughs> yeah, that, that's horrible. Yeah, he's uh, 6'5", about 210, uh, just a great guy. Uh, he's got some pop. Yeah. He's going to, he, uh, I don't know about playing a lot of outfield, although he's working out there, uh, but uh, I can see that the guy's got some potential to drive the ball for sure. Sure. And, um, but um, just looking here, uh, that that's probably the main guys right. that uh, I think are in the mix. There's there's obviously going to be a few more guys on varsity. Yeah, Let's see how it um, works out. But it's been very competitive. You guys have been working hard and really looking forward to it. The problem is uh, almost every team works really hard and yeah. they've got good players exactly. and it's just exactly. going to come down to little things again. Exactly, definitely. Um, schedule obviously you guys start with the Missouri tournament um, this next weekend and then you, you know have spring break down in Florida. Um, just talk about the non-conference schedule, and then we can okay. switch over to uh, to conference. The uh, yeah, th this next weekend, as I mentioned a couple times, uh, a couple teams ranked in the top twenty. Another team down there were playing two games in the national tournament two years ago, right. and uh, what it does, are actually, a couple of those teams uh, are going to be in our new conference. Okay, that, sure. that we'll be playing, you know, next year yeah, in the hard, sixteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll get a look at some of those. Grandview's down there, Clark's down there, Viterbo and us from the MCC. Great. So, going to do a little scouting on those sure. guys too. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, but it's going to that's going to be a darn good tournament down there. And uh, and after that, then we go down to St. Louis and play Harris Stowe, a weekend series, four games. 
that'll be good for us too. That's on the 28th and March 1st. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can get this game, these two games in with uh, Gustavus Adolphus on the 4th. It's Wednesday the 4th here before we go to Florida. Sure. In Florida, we've got 12 games down there, and we yeah. we play over about seven days. Sure. So a lot of double headers, yeah. Three, two, 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 yeah, take exactly. a day off, two, 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 yeah. get back. Definitely. And uh, then we're down to Hannibal LaGrange not too long, just a day or two after we get back. And then we kind of finish our, almost finish our non-conference season or preseason, or whatever you want to call it, with uh, a tournament up at Sioux City. Mm -hmm. And we play Briarcliff and Morningside up there, four games, and come back and have the turbo on the 25th. Sure. And after that, we get a lot of conference. Definitely. Um, it'll be a last year for the conference this year uh, before we go to the, the heart and everybody just disbands it on yeah. to all different directions. Um, let's talk about, obviously, the turbo won it last year. Um, AIB situation is very interesting, um, but they had a, a really good year last year. Yep. Um, it, it's wide open. I feel like it's probably a oh. wide open season. I don't know, man. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say uh, early, but it's, it's, I feel like there's a uh, lot I, of teams, I a lot think, of good oh, teams. There are, there are, really. And, you know, you probably hear, hear this from all the coaches. You know, everybody's good. Everybody yeah. can beat everybody. You know, you get, but it is very much true. There's not one or two teams at the so-called bottom right. that you can, they, you know, and I think there maybe are with some other sports. Sure. But definitely not with, with us. I wish there were, so yeah, we had it easy <laughs> once in a while. But, easy weekend. Um, no, AIB, like you mentioned, they still they have 26 seniors. Yeah. Uh, and those guys are going to yeah. be mad. Yeah. <laughs> they're in, they're, they got something to, they probably think they got something to prove maybe, but sure. they were very good last year. I really admired the way they played. Uh, Chad Harris did a nice job with them last year, keeping them focused. And mm -hmm. and uh, so they're, they're going to be right there. There's no yeah. doubt. Yeah. St. Ambrose is just loaded. Yeah. Loaded, loaded, I mean, with talent. Uh, if you look at that uh, end of it, they're uh, they got guys. They yeah. got a lot of D one talent over there, and uh, and then of course the Turbo is the defending champion. Yeah. I talked to their coach. I think it was yesterday, and he was really happy with uh, all of the new transfers that came in. And obviously, a new coach there too. So yeah, that, that could be very he interesting was at, situation. He was at Madonna, and Madonna yeah. is a power has yeah. has been kind of a power in the NAIA. Mm -hmm. So. He's uh, he's not going to skip too many beats sure. jumping in with the uh, the turbo job and Definitely. obviously uh, you know Grandview's always right there. Grandview gets guys. Lou yep. gets guys. Mm -hmm. Luna. I mean these are some of these guys are pretty seasoned. Not only are players, but there's a lot of good coaches in the yep. league too. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and then uh, Mount Mercy. Jeez, you know they get a couple D one trans or not D one transfer, but D one arms. Yeah. Um, in there, and all of a sudden they go from maybe being okay to boom. You're yeah. going to win two on the weekend for almost yeah. for sure if, yeah. not, if the other teams aren't careful. Sure. So there's nobody that's you know that's uh, not really got some solid arms. Clark, uh, Dan Spain does a great job up there. Mm -hmm. uh, really recruits heavily, uh, and he's he's got he's got some guys. He's got a lot of guys. So sure. you know, I look at our our guys and. Yeah, I want to focus on our team yeah, and what we definitely, have, definitely. but uh, you know, I got to keep reminding our guys. Yeah, I got, we got some guys, but you know, everybody's Everybody got does guys. Some. Exactly. You know, so. um, well, I won't put you on the spot and ask you who your preseason pick is because it doesn't matter. There's a lot of games we play, but what does William Penn have to do this spring to be at the top and to you know, <laughs> reach all of your goals? Well, our goals are pretty high, and sure. I think most coaches. Are you know right. they, they want to win at the highest levels yeah. and but that means of course taking care of uh, your conference for sure mm -hmm. you've got to do that to get seated in the conference tournament which determines who goes to the national tournament exactly. if you can't do that you're not you have no you, you don't you don't even go to the conference right. tournament exactly they, not everybody gets to go to the yeah. conference right. tournament so right. uh, that's very important however. Even this next weekend, and this is something I've been talking to guys about a lot. Sometimes uh, I've seen a couple of years where guys, will, you know, we'll start a year off, and guys are not quite as concerned for some reason with maybe the first weekend or two. Or they right. think, oh, it's not not conference yet, yeah, so what's sure. the big? And boom, you lose three out of four. All of a sudden, uh, you know, the national Raiders and everybody else starts thinking you're not that good, right. and, um, and you're all year you're trying to play catch up to right. get some national attention. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I, I'm real happy with our with our pitching staff as long as we can stay healthy. Sure. And that was an issue last year too. Right. Right. We had some nagging injuries. Yeah. Ruiz, uh, Matt Vasquez, Logan, Maldonado. Yeah, they were all out for. A, for Those a four seniors I talked about. The first four seniors I talked yeah. about, they all had something going mm-hmm. on, and that wasn't good. Yeah, um, it hurt us at times. And um, but I think our defense is going to be good, even though we lost Enrique, we lost Dan Simmons in center field. He was a very, very good outfielder for mm-hmm. us. <clears throat> but I do think our defense got a chance to be as good, uh, which is good. We got a, we got better arm strength in the outfield mm-hmm. last year. Our arm strength was kind of so-so to be sure. honest about it. Uh, but I think uh, I think we're going to be a little better that way. Um, if Roxbury stays healthy, that'll be good. The corners, hopefully, brought in. I think a couple guys are going to hit a little bit too. Yeah, it sounds that, like that's hitting and hitting slash power is going to be improved. It sounds I, like. Yeah, I think so. And I, I really hope so. That, that was the plan. We've been spending a lot of time on uh, on hitting and breaking it down. Obviously, you know. So, uh, but pitching wise, if we're healthy, we could go pretty deep. Right. We've got uh, you throw O'Neill in the mix, uh, who's he's he's pretty good. Right, uh, he gets after it. Uh, he can beat anybody. Ruiz can beat anybody. Uh, you know, maybe a couple other guys on, on some days can do the same thing. Exactly. Sure. Um, but um, we got to do the other thing. And and you know, defense is always, as you know, it's always yeah. a backbone of any conference sure. championship team or any team that goes anywhere postseason. You got to have the defense. And I think we're I think we're going to be good there. It's going to come down to do we get runs in when we got a guy in scoring position. Right. Right. And uh, hopefully we'll be a lot better at that. Sure, definitely. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for sitting down for a few minutes here and talking about the season. We'll uh, certainly talk again uh, as the season goes along. But uh, best of luck next weekend and get the ball rolling in the right direction. Thank you, Wade. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks.